In the previous video, we built a house with a camera inside. Over the past three months, it has filmed some amazing things. A little tit peeked into our house right after we built it, which gave us hopes for a positive outcome. It was looking inside for a long time without daring to come in. Apparently, it was afraid. But after a while, she decided to enter the house to check out whether it was suitable for her. Her husband looked into the house right after her. The tit tried to move the furniture, but seemingly she was more interested in the sunflower seeds we left in the house. She took a seed and flew away. Then she took another one, and after that, something unbelievable happened. The tit took our kitchen table and carried it out of the house. Can you believe that? Turns out they were burglars, and our house was robbed by the tits. Later, she came back to steal our chair and even tried to take the bed out. Fortunately, it didn't fit through the door. Eventually, I had to remove the bed, which was the last valuable item, so as not to attract more burglars to the house. I also added some sawdust. After that, we didn't see any birds in the house, not even those burglars. And then, after about 10 days, we noticed some movement at the entrance. It was another tit, but of a different species. It was larger, but obviously it was frightened to stay in such unusual construction. The next day, she and her husband appeared again. It was obvious they were interested, but for some reason, they didn't start to make a nest. I thought that the room might have been too bright and looked rather unusual for them. So I decided to repaint it in a dark brown color. After a while, the burglar showed up again. Realizing that there was nothing left to steal, he flew away. Another bird, I guess it was a sparrow, came after him. But apparently, he didn't like the new color of the walls, and I was disappointed again. However, at 5 o'clock in the morning, a big tit flew in again. It had a little rest just sitting on the floor and started to explore whether it would make a nest. The bird even approached the camera as if asking whether she could trust it and checking if it could hurt her babies. Apparently, feeling that we could guarantee her safety, she brought a lump of moss into the house at 7am. It was actually a good sign, since it meant that she has decided to move in. Lump by lump, she was bringing in more and more building material for her future nest. But at one moment, some stranger seemed to intrude into her house. The tit laid down on the floor, spread its wings to make itself look bigger, and frightened the stranger away with unusual movements. After the threat had gone, it continued the construction of the nest, flying far into the woods to pick up material. After all, it would soon be time to lay eggs and wait for the chicks. Within several days, she managed to create a thick layer of moss, which would provide a softness for the nest. Other tits aren't fortunate enough to settle in such beautiful houses, and have to look for holes in trees to expand to the right size with their own efforts. In a few days, the tit brought the first piece of fur of some animal, which meant we were in the final phase of the nest building. After all, chicks are born with a very soft skin, and this way, the tit makes sure that the babies only get in contact with the softest and most comfortable materials. I hope she will pluck that fur from some squirrel. The nest was getting higher, and I was already worried that it would reach the entrance hole, from which the chicks could easily be pulled out by a predator. Yet, I was sure the tit knew what it was doing. And one day, we saw a little white egg covered in brown spots in the middle of the nest. Incredible! And after that, a second and even a third one. The tit was producing one egg almost every day. But she took her time incubating them. All the while, she continued to work on her nest and also hunt it, since she had to eat a lot of caterpillars and other insects to get the nutrients for producing so many eggs. Within 10 days, the tit accumulated as many as 8 eggs and began incubating them. During this time, she had to stay consistently in the nest to heat the eggs with her body and keep their temperature at a high level. It is an obligatory condition for life to emerge from the eggs. You 
may have seen this process in our videos showing biological experiments with the open method of hatching. The tit left the nest only to relieve itself and came right back. At this time, her husband took the responsibility of feeding the tit and hunt it all day long, bringing her food directly to the nest. Every time the male approaches the nest, she somehow felt it and stood up to take the food. But whenever she hears someone outside, she lays down even deeper into the nest, keeping flat against the eggs. This time it was not her male, but some predator who was trying to crawl into the nest and reach her. I couldn't figure out who it was, since I detected this event only on the recording. Maybe it was a big crow or a magpie, what do you think? Fortunately, neither the tit nor her eggs were harmed. Several more days passed after that, and now we are about to witness the birth of a new life. One of the eggs cracked, and it began to fall apart. There seems to be a little chick inside. The tit helped it a little to get out of the shell. Then it ate a part of the shell to replenish its needs for minerals and threw the other part away. Look how small and cute it was. It didn't even have enough strength to lift its head up. Later, Daddy brought his son a caterpillar but it was bigger than the baby itself. Mum had to eat it herself and look for a smaller prey. The tit continued to worm her eggs for several hours. I didn't know what was going on over there, and when she stood up, there were as many as four small hilarious chicks. She continued to hatch and feed the newborns all day long. Once, when father brought food, some sounds were heard outside the house and someone's shadow flashed in the background. Perhaps it was a predator. The birds were frightened, but fortunately no one attacked the house. And by the evening, the nest contained a bunch of hungry little pink chicks with funny hairstyles. All but one egg hatched. Compared to their heads, the beaks of the chicks are really wide and colored yellow, so that the mother can easily feed them. Also, they fit quite a lot of food, which is very important for the babies. After all, they will grow quickly day by day. Our camera has recorded hundreds of uninterrupted footage inside the house, and I need to watch everything, choose the best and the most interesting material, and then edit it to show you. We will learn what happens next to our chicks, and what tests and dangers await them on their way to adulthood, in the final part of the video about our treehouse. Trust me, we have a lot to show you.